Welcome back everybody to what is possibly one of my favorite areas in this world, the wheat fields, which many people do know and love. And if you guys don't know it or love it yet, I guarantee you we're going to be knowing it and loving it very, very soon. So I've got a few things I want to show you guys. And pretty much today what we're going to be working on is a small, simple build, which I think a lot of people will be able to use in their worlds as well. So if you guys are looking for something that's kind of cool, I mean, 1.13 is around the corner. So you're probably going to be looking for some sort of still little base to get started with. I guess you could really adapt this and use it today, but... Enough of that. I've got too much stuff that I just said in a few seconds. So how about we just have a look at how beautiful that mountain is looking there. Look at it. Going real good. This has been a few days, actually, probably a few weeks of stream that we've been using just to fix it up and make it look a little bit more interesting with the trees going off the top. Man, it's starting to turn out really good. And we've got a lot of things which we are still going to be adding to it. But it's just, it's just little by little by little. We're chipping away at it. And yeah, it's looking real, real good. So today what we're doing is we're moving on from this farm area. We're kind of picking up the story of where this farm, how this farm operates. We've got our windmill. We've got our, well, windmill there. We've got our, our barn. We've got the silos, which are probably my worst thing in here, to be completely honest. But in many ways... They were very difficult, so I'm kind of alright with whatever they look like. Uh, but we've got all these things which are being operated on, let alone all the other jobs that exist in this place. And I was thinking, you know what would be great? Is to start getting a place for the people who live here to be staying. Because, I mean, this place is not going to operate by itself. And here we go. This is where I've decided to set this place up. Now, here's also another little cool thing is I did a little bit of terraforming. By a little bit, I actually mean a fair bit. I, I removed the trees, obviously. And I've got this real neat slope going on here. So I destroyed a bit of a mountain here. And I thought, you know, let's let's just get this place looking spot on from the beginning. So we don't have to mess around with the terraforming. So I got that out the way so we don't have to deal with it. Now, I've kind of thought about what we're doing today. And we'll, we'll just adapt it as we go. And I've thought about the colors which we're going to be using just for the sake of, of, of changing it up a little bit. Because you know what? To get me to use these oak oak stairs, that takes a lot. Because oak means a lot to me. Let me tell you that much. Oak is... <laughs> oh, man. Oak is, oak is precious to me in this world. Uh, but, yeah, while, we, while we're at it, I'll, show you, I'll tell you guys what we're doing. So, basically, I want to build a house that's fairly simple. Of course, that a lot of people can adapt and use in their own world, uh, as I say. And not only that, also a house that could, uh, could be taking up as little space as possible. So, the interior of it is not necessarily what we are going for here. And as I say, I've, I've had some thought to what it's going to be like. So I've, I've kind of pictured out the details of the colors and stuff that I want in it. And I'm going to choose a few things slightly different to the way I normally did. It would, did, do, and would combined. That's the word that comes out. Uh, but yeah, I've, cho I've, cho I've chosen a few details that I think would be kind of interesting that I've never really necessarily used before. So let's just do the front porch. And, and this was something I thought would be really cool is having a, a porch in the front here. Kind of similar to what a house I did actually way back there, just on a stream once. I don't even know why I did it. I just did it for the sake of doing it. <laughs> really, that was probably probably the reason, just because. What, what is that? One, two, three. Let's go four up there. Wonderful. Uh, but yeah, I, I thought it would. I thought it looked like a real farmhouse. When I when I look at a lot of the a lot of the farmhouses, I don't actually know the reason for it, but maybe it's just to get the fresh air in the place. Uh, I think it's uh, it's a fairly nice a fairly nice look when you've got that going on. So let's just get this very front piece started off here. And, and the whole idea of it is just to keep it simple. Because guess who's had this horrible, well, beautiful, but horrible habit <laughs> at the same time of building at an angle. Uh, it, it, would, it would be this guy. He can't stop it. I just, I literally, I, I've, I've, I'm hooked at building on angles. It's ridiculous. There's just something about it. There's just something about building stuff on an angle that is so awesome. And I, I can't get myself to stop, but... Enough about that, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll probably just keep doing it, to be honest. It's, it's so much fun. Uh, but what, I, what I'm thinking about here, let's just get the porch sorted. In fact, before we do the porch, let's go one, two, three, four, five long. Is that wide, long enough? Let's just check how wide this is, because I'd, I'd want to keep this in almost the most simple of builds. Just because, I also, I mean, it, it, do, it will prove that simplicity sometimes does work. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Yep, we're good. So we want to go a five by five little hole here. So I guess th this is more for like a, if you guys wanted a cool starter base, a little like starter house, this is what you're going for. I don't know how tall we're going to go at the back here. I'll, I'll just match that over there and then we'll, we'll meet it up at the end. Uh, but yeah, pretty much the idea is that we want this to be as quick and easy to build. And I guess I'm going to actually build this in one episode anyway. 
uh, but quick and easy to build, and not only that, also look good. That's the case. We don't want it to be crazy, we just want it to look like a farmhouse, and that's that's the cool thing. Now, I know many people have have complimented me, which is actually quite awesome, saying, hey Jancy, your, uh, your nether tunnels, they're looking pretty good there, man. And I, I what can I say? I love my nether tunnels. They, they're one of my favorite things in this world now. They, they're also a pain in the butt, but in, in, to keep with the pain in the butt theme of those nether tunnels, <laughs> uh, yeah, I've got a clip to show you guys, which, which happened a few days ago in a stream, and thank goodness it happened in a stream, so at least people could share in on, on the, the absolute destruction. So if you guys aren't clued up with my nether tunnels, they're all flammable, and I've put a lot of work into them. That's what you guys really have to know about it. They are incredibly flammable, and I worked a lot in them. Uh, now, what what happened was, the, I was just busy working, looking at stuff, doing whatever I'm doing, as, as I do. And I decided to let my guard down for a second. And uh, I, I I was talking to the chat, doing, doing the things we do in a stream, which makes the stream good. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, a, uh, a rogue, a rogue, uh, I'm, I'm going to put it out as a crazy, crazy... Uh, Blaze shows <laughs> turns out but out of nowhere and you can really if with, with the clip when you actually hear it man You can just hear me give up. I'm just like well That's it. That was that was a great place <laughs> But in all fairness, I mean that's that's what makes the game Exciting, you know you, sometimes you can lose everything you've done and you, that's what makes you protect your builds and makes you appreciate your builds and uh, Make them fireproof most importantly. So lesson learnt. Uh, well, not really. I'm definitely not learning my lesson, but well, well, here's a pro tip. Don't don't use flammable stuff in the nether. How about that? That's a takeaway for, for people who don't want to grief their own bases like I do. Uh, just don't use flammable stuff in the nether. It's, it's probably going to do you some real good... <laughs> do, just do you real good in the future. That, that's it. That's it. Just flammable stuff in the nether. It doesn't quite work. And, you know, who, who am I to be surprised about that? How many times have I built in the nether... And, and just used good stone and stuff like that. And uh, I mean, I'm, I, I've burnt down so many builds. It's ridiculous. In fact, that's another thing which I, I do wish to do in the future is, is a burnt down city, which is, I think, going to be super cool. And a little bit different as well. Or maybe it's not a city, but a, a village. But I mean, hey, no, enough about stuff burning. That's that's enough of, <laughs> for, of that from us. For enough of that from us for today. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm words. Jancy and words today. We, we're not really working too well. So how's that? That's the correct one there. Perfect. And just to make sure that we get a good feeling about this, I, I feel like we're pretty good on this. So if, if we uh, we put this across here, we'll be able to check if this does work. It might be a little bit too tall because I've just kind of winged it. That's I'll be completely honest. I've just been winging this build. But that's that's what makes some of these builds good. And that's what I'm going for. You know, it's something that people can still... I mean, it's not going to confuse... <laughs> A lot of people with this build every now and then we do something simple and it's also something that I think can still work really well in a world despite the fact that I, I overdo a lot of things as as I, I am in such a bad habit of really where's the Sun okay over there wonderful now by the way for people who don't know here's here's Jancy bringing the good news because obviously it's a sad time your nether tunnels burned down get over it Jancy but what I can be very very excited about is on the complete opposite end of fire, we have got the... Actually, let's let's just step down here. I don't want to keep going. <laughs> uh, we've got the water update, being the update aquatic coming around. Uh, that's just a little bit t taller than I was expecting, but that's all right. So we got the update aquatic coming around in another few days. And as far as I'm aware, everything's going to plan and we should have it really, really soon. Which is ridiculously exciting because how long have we waited for it? And we finally got it. It's it's always a good time, and I'm I'm looking really forward to getting started with some new stuff, just building stuff that I've been thinking about ever since I heard about the update. I'm I'm super super excited. So that is one thing that's coming up super close, uh, super soon, and I'm sure I'm not the only one. So if you guys have got any any requests pre, actually I've got a bed here, don't I? Uh, pre 1.13 builds. You guys can tell me and I can I can get ready for them. But I've got quite a few things that I want to do in this world. I mean, obviously, there's there's all the updating stuff. We don't have a door in here. Uh, the door can go... How about we do it over here? I want to put it just up... Oh, wait. That's not... That's not the front. <laughs> uh, how about we put it over... Wait, that'll be one... Two... Yeah, we'll do it just off to the side. Wonderful. That's what we need. And, in fact, the side over here. So let's just do that. We'll probably actually move it to the oak, which is the, the different sort of thing for me. 
Never really used the oak. Uh, we don't have a door. All right, so we'll put this in here. Let's just let's just get this stuff in. So we'll actually we'll put the furnace down as well. And I want to. I, I was thinking about this for when we build it. Just want to do a little chimney. We'll work on that a bit later. Uh, but what we do need is ah oh, this. Not in there. In there. Fantastic. All right. So we just need a door. And by the way, this house here is going to be one of a few houses around the place. So the idea is that we put this house in and we'll be able to do others. Maybe a bit more complicated. Maybe one on an angle. I mean, I, I can't resist. I really can't. I love the angles. So maybe, maybe one. And then we'll be, we'll call it even. <laughs> but uh, I, I think it'll be something that'll be quite good. Just to, to get a good bit of the story coming into here where we've got the people living. They need the place to stay. We need to have some cool interesting stuff around here on on the particularly on this end because this is the forgotten end of the wheat fields and it, and from here of course there's so much more that we could do uh one other thing i was thinking about was a cool water wheel to power the maybe power water to the top of a hill or something along those lines i think that would just be be an awesome thing like a water wheel to power a pump to pump water up to a reservoir or something like that would be rather cool and then not to mention it is a farm so we can maybe have some some work animals like horses to pull plows we can have some other things around here so it, it's really think about this as a, a glorified farmyard maybe maybe that's something to think about here is a glorified farmyard with like glorified being used very lightly <laughs> very loosely you can you can say glorified it's still gonna have some pretty basic houses so let's just get these last little pieces in very simple build actually as i say it's it's actually refreshing to do a build this simple every now and then and we'll get rid of that one so we know where we're going to and this little chimney that we're about to put in is is a really cool little chimney very simple very easy and it, it works surprisingly better than better than any other big chimney i think i, I haven't seen a, a chimney done larger than this that actually looks better than this so let's just go up here get these last few blocks in and of course the the side pieces and, and windows and stuff are coming don't worry have we have we ever let you guys down with, with forgetting windows? I'm, I'm gonna guess probably I, I might have I'll, I'll be completely honest. I <laughs> probably have but let's just do that and get one of these in here and uh, a pro Jump shot. Yeah, there we go. And let's just do this piece in here that, Just ignore that. that that was part of the pro stuff that we do and that down there and we are going to be three short. Of course we will. That's fine. We've got everything we need. So those there and this around here. So now we should be able to finish off what I wanted to, which is this chimney on the top. Thank you very much, block. How's it looking? Oh, wait. We, we, we're we a little bit short here as well. So get rid of... Oh, just get those in there. Wonderful. So as you can tell, this is a very different sort of build to our normal sorts of stuff. Go around here get up there and put in two of these i find i find doing it this way where you put the full block just works much better than putting in a stair although i do like the stair i think it just works a lot better i'll actually do this there we go so look at this super simple now now that we got this base we can actually start adding details look at that super super simple we've got that that piece in there we've got this cool little uh, what would you call it? balcony veranda veranda that would be the word area here and I, I do want to change these just because they don't quite look as cool as as you would you, you would have hoped i was actually thinking the the dirt the dirt blocks that would look all right but no it doesn't there we go another thing is i don't want to use too much and i actually forgot to mention this earlier is i don't want to use too much stone in here but i do need to use a little bit of stone to make this place feel like it's still actually held up and and controlled and well not controlled but you know what i mean it just held up by by some support so let's do something like this and I, I have just taken away the really thick support, as I said, being held up by some some good support. But I think this would work quite well. Let's just do something like that. I guess, well, I was just about to run away. But this one here as well would probably go quite well. Just changing these over and putting that there. And one of those in there. So, how's that looking? A little bit more detailed, I'd say. But still not quite as interesting as I hope. So, let's get in... Over here, I will go for, and I did bring them, these here. Just there. I had a hunch. I had a hunch we would need them. No, we need more. <laughs> that was just all that I had left in my base. In fact, also, because Jancy sometimes does really dumb things, we're going to put that down there right away so that we don't have any problems. 
So one, two, three, four. Actually, this is going to be a lot. Yeah, we'll just do four of those. And then I think we have to go just two of them. Is that right? Yeah, perfect. All right, so this should be enough. One there, one there, one there. And the reason why we're not using fences is, of course, because the fences don't quite work. Um, we don't have any of those. This will work for now. Okay, good. So let's check, take a look at this. I'm pretty sure it'll be all right. Yep, perfect. In fact, one thing I can do is probably change these over to dark oak, but I'm, I'm a bit worried that we might have too much dark oak in this place. So we'll, we'll have to check that out. So let's put a window in. We'll go there. We'll go old school window with a bit of... This is, this is something that I think a lot of people forget to use as a window is the fence. Fences can be such cool windows. It's amazing. So let's go down there and we need to get ourselves one, two, like that. Put these in here. Something like this to make the sides a little bit more interesting. And let's go take a step back and have a look at it. Yeah, that's actually looking pretty good. But I did bring these with, and I think I've actually got more of these somewhere else. But it's all right. We'll, we'll just test it out if we do need it. But I'm pretty sure this should work a little bit better. This, the spruce is just looking rather, it's, it's sticking out. I guess that's the point with the spruce. It's, it's just sticking out like a sore thumb. So let's do that. There, there. What a weird expression, actually. I've never, I've never, you know, I, this is some, this sometimes happens to me. I just, I'm sure it happens to everybody else. But all of a sudden, it just clicks. You're like, I've been saying an expression that sounds kind of weird. It's sticking out like a sore thumb. Like, what? what? I don't know any sore thumbs that necessarily like what what would a thumb be sticking out like it just doesn't I don't I don't get it It doesn't make sense to me <laughs> But it's just something that's just crossed my mind then just saying it just Why? Why do you do this Jesse? Why do you question all these really odd things? So we'll do that there Take a step back Yeah, that's much better. I've got to change that one as well almost forgot that but oh, Let's eat that's let's eat what I'm what I'm known for just forgetting to eat my food and then having people yelling at me eat your food Jancy There's actually a good reason for why I don't eat my food by the way and, and it might be strange But the reason is very often I end up Just leaving my food. So when I'm flying like this you see this I could be eating my food instead of walking slowly Eating the food. I know it sounds kind of kind of odd But when I'm flying for instance, I can eat food when I'm enderpearling I can eat food like once I throw an enderpearl I can eat food once I'm going through an ender and portal or oh, sorry uh, nether portal like for instance there look at this I could be eating food right now land and I haven't wasted any time walking or not doing work uh, Or as I say going through an, an, an a nether portal works quite well for that as well So let's just go there and in fact actually a trick with the nether portal is if you just hold down right click while or, Yeah, right click while you're eating You're gonna eat the thing while you go through it. So that's that's even another time saver. I think I'm gonna go for let's go for oak floors. We've gone oak on the outside. Let's just continue it through here. I mean, what the heck? Let's just let's just go crazy with the oak. While we're at it, uh, can I get out, please? Thank you. And I've got two things to replace. Don't forget these, Jancy. That and we'll put this up on the wall. There we go. So this offers us a few good things. One is an extra bed around here. Uh, the other is, in fact, I, I'm gonna do some cool stuff over here. The other is not just another bed over here, but just another bit of interest down here. Just another bit of the story which was lacking from this area. And I think that's that's important because a lot of the time I go to these areas and I forget about the areas and I never return to them. And I, I think that's a pity. So having this here means we're actually going to have some reasons to return to it. So let's check that out. Yeah, that's all right. I don't, I don't really mind. Like, I don't like what I've done here necessarily on the, this little squiggle, but it's better than nothing. And I've got these here. I was gonna bring something. Let's just put them over here. Let's check what this looks like. I don't know how this is actually gonna work. In fact, this will go great when I've got some spruce trap doors. The savior block. Yeah, you know what? That's fine. That'll work the way it is. For sure. And look at the sun going down. Man, what good timing. Two Minecraft days to make one of these. Are you kidding me? That is, that is awesome. Let's just go up here. Let's check it out uh, from there. Beautiful. Now picture this. We're gonna have a perhaps a water wheel over here. Maybe a small windmill. Who knows? Instead, uh, a few more of these houses, some stables, 
this area is going to be very well populated. And then we're also going to, of course, end up making the ground look good and, and a well. And, oh man, it's going to have so much stuff. I mean, if we're actually pumping water, maybe we don't need a well. So we'll, we'll consider that. We'll consider it all when we get there. But now, let's just go ahead, finish off the episode now, guys, with a beautiful view of the sun going down. Let's just use it. Uh, let's, let's use, what the heck, let's use our new thing with the, the ugly beak in the background. So thank you very much for joining me today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed something a little bit more simple and hopefully someone gets some use out of this and maybe uses this in their own one. It's very, very easy and I thought it would be kind of good just for this area as a small house. So thank you so much for joining me here today, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.